Hello, this is Paula Pascual and today I wanted to show you a few things that techniques that you can do with the Nouveau Expanding Mousse. When we launched it on her Hachanda, I would try to go as many techniques as possible and probably I did more than I realized or less than I realized, whatever. So I just wanted to put a quick video out there of the main ways that I like to use it. And if I come up with more or I remember or I forget, you know, I'll, I'll try to share them as they come. So basically the very most essential basic way of using it is through a stencil and using a palette knife just put it through and it has got that perfect consistency for stencils i like because this has got a kind of a mixed media effect or look you know, it's just to do it sometimes just a little bit in there now it comes in eight colors and if you got it while uh, there was a, the one day special, um, it was you only pay for seven and you got the Missive Move as a free gift. Uh, you could have gotten as well if you went for any of the products during that one day special, which I think is a fa fabulous deal. Um, but they will be available individually as well. Now, the magic of the expanding mousse is that once you have it like this, while it's wet, you or you can let it dry and then heat it up and that with a heat gun that will make it add that tesh texture now i'm gonna go hopefully it's gonna be able to see it and the more when the heat applies it you can see how it spans it. One of the beauties of this product is the fact that this will dry as it is. The mousse in here will dry exactly with that luster, that density, that the height, and then this already is dry. So you can see the difference between the two effects. And it's not like it's not gonna dry, it's gonna dry exactly as it is, and that's exactly as it is. So you have got all those effects in there. That's the very basic technique of how to use the uh, new expanding mousse. However, there are many, many different ways. Now, this is kind of a journal that I had and I never used it much other than to clean my background. And you can see all this texture is done by using just whatever is left. I will just put it in here. And sometimes it's just a little bit of color. Sometimes it's the stencils. Sometimes it's to put it through um, second ways. And this is one of the effects that I really like. Is basically if you have got it and you put it and just love sequin, sequin waste. So for instance, in here I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna go in with gray matter, and I'm gonna grab another palette knife that I have got, which is a silver. Then just put it through here. Now that needs to be dried, so I'm gonna add just put a heat gun, and I love that you can heat it up and it's dry so it's just not you don't have to wait for it to dry naturally right and then what i'm going to do is i have got this this still there is some um, um embellishment mousse in there so i'm going to put it upside down take a roller which i don't know where i put it over there and then just press down so you get that waste effect in there and that is how you can create gorgeous effects and i'm going to show you a finished one that i really am very proud this is using the leftovers like in the roller as well as on the waist of the sequin waist so you can then go with the roller as well and if there is anything in there it cannot transfer now it's clean So you have got that and then you have got the leftovers and then so you can see when you heat it up it, lo it still is pearlescent but it's less pearlescent than when it's is straight out of the pot so what i'm going to do is I just use the same color and add a little bit of i want to have a little bit of highlights now i'm going to do it on the red and you can see how it kind of works really well uh, here i would like to have maybe what about just putting a little bit of the red which is the red leather and just that a little bit so it kind of goes in and that is how you can create those backgrounds now another way that I love to using I mean you can just go straight from the spatula and just lad it up 
and then just heat it up and get that texture from the expanding mousse and then you can go with another color and then you can see it here that here I just use it straight from the pot and still has and I did let it dry naturally and has got that beautiful luster here with the spatula but then heat it up to get all that texture coming through and then I highlight it a little bit with the gray matter to add more color if you do it directly with one of the things that I love to do is to do it with the rollers either roller I call it rollers but it's, it's not it's, it's a brayer so you can just do it onto the glass mat or another piece and then just just to add and that's how at the beginning I had add those texture and you know it creates those soft picks in there and the great thing is that if you heat it between colors then you can build a lot of layers and texture and this is one of the projects I did on air and you can see that I went first with the blue heat it up then with the green then with the gray matter and by heating up between times it kind of gives you more dimension also when then finally with the worn linen which is the white uh, with a pearlescent shimmer and then just dry brush it in areas where it needed a little bit more light you can still use it as any like the embellishment mousse over metal it will dry uh, you can always scratch it back as well as on a card that was black card and then it kind of transform it and then I'm just going to put all those elements to finish this little canvas. I hope this has been um, helpful and hopefully I will do a few more um, as the weeks go by because I absolutely love the new expanding mousse. Thank you for watching.